Hey Scorpio, welcome to your general love reading for February 2022. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. And it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. But if you would like a personal reading, you can find all the information for that in the description box. And do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed because the reading is general. All right, let's see. Scorpio, what is going on with you for the first half of February 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, I will take a look at this. Okay, we have the Six of Cups. I'm just going to put it up here um, that fell out of the deck. All right, definitely a very deep soul connection here. So let's see. For the situation, we have the Seven of Cups crossed by the Empress. Ooh, okay, so it feels like there's a little bit of confusion here, um, possibly when it comes to just really creating, creating, like giving birth to this connection and actually um, giving it energy is what I'm getting here. It could be that there's either um, something you're not, you or the other person is not able to see clearly at the moment, or there might be a lot of distractions that are happening um, for one of you. Let's see the recent past. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so there was definitely some kind of a shift that took place here. For your energy, we have the Emperor as well as the Six of Swords. All right, okay, so... We have already, we have both the Emperor as well as the Empress. So yes, definitely a very um, divine soulmate connection is what I'm getting here, for sure. Oh, you have this person a lot on your mind. But at the same time, it's like you're... I feel like you're trying to get yourself to a place where you're feeling more more at peace because I feel like there's just so much confusion or just so many distractions that might be happening concerning this connection that you you just want to remain calm basically and I feel like that's what you're trying to do here. Let's see for them we have the ace of wands as well as the devil. Oh okay so there's a lot of fear here. I feel like this person has a lot of passion for you. There's definitely this essence of wanting a reconnection if you're not um, like 100% in union with this person. Um, but there's something here that they're dealing with that might be a little bit unhealthy, okay? And it could be a number of things. But I feel like whatever that is, that is also preventing them from being able to actually manifest this. For others of them, it could be that they are involved with something else um, that is concerning lust, maybe. But I don't get that that's for all of you. We'll see when we clarify. Um, for the near future, we have the Queen of Swords. And the message for you here is the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so definitely a lot of clarity that is coming up, which I love because the main card here for the main situation was the Seven of Cups, right? Which talks about illusions or distortions or just not seeing something clearly. And so I feel like with the Queen of Swords, like a lot of things are actually going to be cleared up here. Not only that, I feel like somebody is going to really be either setting their boundaries or um, in the good way, right? Whoever needs to do that. Um, or just cutting something out and I am hoping that it's this person cutting out this devil's energy, whatever that is. So the message for you though is to release insecurity, a sense of insecurity because there might be some insecurities that are arising for you because there is this confusion and, that, and because you might not know exactly what's going on. Um, so the message is there's no need to feel insecure like you're going to lose something. You're not. So, let's see. Let's clarify that Seven of Cups with the Empress. All right, 
right, the Queen of Swords, the Hanged Man, and the Seven of Swords. Who? what is going on here, Scorpio? Um, yeah, there's definitely a lack of, um, of clarity when it comes to something in this situation. And whatever that lack of clarity is, I feel like that is what is holding this this connection kind of stuck in the phase that it is stuck in at the moment. It's like somebody has a false perception of something that's happening here. And it could even be um, that this person has a false perception of you for some of you. But I'm mostly feeling like you're you're the one not being able to see something clearly. And I do feel like there might be a lot of distractions for the other person, which could be that devil's energy. And so it's like, because of that, because of not being able to see the situation clearly, I feel like it's kind of holding you back. And not only that, it's making you um, not trust this. Or it's creating a little bit of that insecurity that I was talking about before. Where you're not 100% trusting of what might be going on with them. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see the Emperor for your energy. Oh, I skipped over the Wheel of Fortune. But that's okay. I will get to it. Alright, so for the Emperor, we have the Knight of Swords and the High Priestess. Yeah, you know what, here's the thing, it's like deep down you know. Deep down, I feel like intuitively, you know what's happening here. But because it doesn't really reflect what you're seeing in the physical, that's why you're not trusting it and that's why there's this confusion. But I feel like deep down you know that things are actually moving forward in the way that they're supposed to be moving forward. You know what the truth is here about, about the other person. So whatever it is that you've been feeling intuitively, not when it's related to fear or insecurity, all right? But during other times where you, you're you not in a place of insecurity, that is your intuition. And that's when it's telling you what's really happening with them. All right, before I see the Wheel of Fortune for the past, let's see, let's see the Six of Swords which is also in your energy. All right, we have the Hierophant, the Two of Swords, and the Eight of Wands. Yeah, it's like you're trying to move in a direction where Again, I feel like it's serving the purpose of just keeping you peaceful. So it's almost like you're moving away from the idea of this being something that will come to be, right? Or you're just kind of maybe just avoiding communication or avoiding um, interacting with this person or just avoiding having interaction in your own mind about this person in order to keep you calm because you don't Again, it's like you don't know what's going on here. Again, I feel like the message for you is the same. Really, you know, intuitively you know. You know what's going on. It's just a matter of trusting what you know. All right, so let's see. Wheel of Fortune for the recent past. What shifted here? Alright, we have death. Alright, so that's your energy showing up here. Forgot to mention we also have Taurus showing up. Um, yeah, Capricorn as well. And we also have the Nine of Wands here, together with death. Okay, so there was some kind of an ending here. 
So maybe something that was in motion that seemed to be moving forward, it just kind of like stopped. Or maybe it feels like if there was something that this person was aiming for, like if they were trying for something or moving in a certain direction, it feels like maybe they gave up. On the surface again. Um, so yeah, that kind of threw you into this confusion as like, what's going on, you know? Like things seem to have been moving well. Why the halt all of a sudden? Or maybe this person just started to kind of resist certain things. Things just, I feel like they just began to feel difficult. All right, let's see what's going on with them. Let's see the Ace of Wands with their energy. Cool. The Ten of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. This person, wow, okay, so yeah, even though they still feel this passion, they still want um, to rekindle this connection with you, they're feeling like, like it's done as well, like something is, or if it's not done, they're feeling um, some kind of a, a painful ending here. For some of them, it could be that they have this this fear of their independence coming to an end. Losing their independence. And for others of them, it's it could definitely be a self-worth issue here that they're dealing with. Um, feeling doomed almost, feeling like they're just not deserving of this. But I feel like that would be a more subconscious underlying issue here that then, you know, manifests and plays out in different ways. Let me see this devil. Three major arcana cards, clarifying a major arcana card. All right, whatever this is, it's something big. We have the Magician, we have Strength, and we have the Wheel of Fortune. All right, so we also have Aries and Leo um, showing up here. You might be dealing with one of, one of those signs. This person doesn't like the shift that happened, okay? So whatever whatever that shift was, which I, I feel is related to some kind of an ending, they're not, they're not happy about that. They're not happy about that, um, but it's it also seems to be like a pattern of theirs. Like maybe this is something that they do like on occasion, which then would also explain why it's so confusing for you um, if, if these cycles keep playing out. But I do feel like they're the ones that are creating these cycles. And I also feel like they're the ones who are creating um, certain distractions in order to deal with something that that runs a lot deeper. It runs a lot deeper within them, whatever this issue is. It feels like it has a pretty strong hold on them. So for some of them, it could definitely be something from their past, some kind of a trauma. Um, I don't know, but I feel like they do use distractions to kind of deal or cope with the situation. However, this person does want change. They want to turn the wheel again. They want to manifest um, strength within their own self, courage to actually move forward and return that wheel back in the direction that where when things seem to be moving forward. So I do feel like the, with these cards clarifying the devil, I do feel like they are. Um, working on whatever this devil's energy is. For some of them, it could be like some kind of an attachment that they have. 
um, could be a third party for some of you, it could be an addiction, it could just be a fear of, of commitment, because that's kind of showing up as well for some of you. Whatever it is, um, it's something that takes a lot of strength and courage to overcome, and I do see them trying to do that. Because I feel like they also know that they have been creating this vicious cycle on their own, basically. They're the ones creating that. All right, so let's see what's coming up. Let's see the Queen of Swords. All right, the Ace of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, and the Three of Cups. Definitely a lot of clarity here. I feel like, you know, you will be able to see something in the physical. Um, I do see this coming back together, right? There's a reconciliation and then, you know, this path is being opened up again. Um, and I do feel that this time around, I feel like you're actually going to be like this Queen of Swords where you're going to be a little bit more firm when it comes to, you know, what you what your expectations are and when it comes to your own sense of self-dignity and respect. Because I feel like, you know, you've learned, you've learned a lesson here. You've learned a lesson here and you're not just going to allow this person to keep opening up a cycle close and then, you know, um, turning the wheel back in the other direction just to open it up again and, and doing this back and forth. I feel like you're, you're, you're done with that coming up. You're done with the cycles. All right. You want stability, basically. <laughs> You want stability. But again, it's like deep down though, you know what's going on with this person. And so I feel like, yeah, what's being asked of you here is, yes, you know, trust your intuition. You know what's really going on. Um, trust that. Release the insecurity. You're not losing this connection, but you are also being asked to be firm. All right, so let's see the Four of Pentacles, which I feel just pretty much sums up what I just said. All right, and we have a judgment. Yeah, so use your discernment. Use your discernment. Um, I feel like this is also, you know, about forgiveness, but then at the same time, not, not accepting just anything, right? It's judgment. So it's being discerning. So yes, you know, don't, no need to hold on to insecurities, but then at the same time, you know, don't accept just anything either. Be compassionate, but not, um, not a doormat. And I feel like that's something you already know. All right, Scorpio, if this resonated, let's get the final oracle message for you. All right, and we have number 10, Fergun, become a loving mirror. Someone else got this as well. I can't remember who. Um, but yeah, be, so it's like be a mirror, you know, let them see what it is that is, you know, that they're doing. But at the same time, you know, you can still do that in a loving way. But yeah, take this however it resonates for you. All right, Scorpio, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.